Welcome to day 19 of the Preston Ribble Circuit Advent Calendar. My name's Zoe Ainsworth. The title for today's reflection is Strange Rejection. We begin with a Bible reading from John chapter 1 verses 6 to 14. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives life to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognise him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Children and animals sometimes have a strange way of re reacting to people. They can take an instant and incomprehensible dislike to a stranger or even a family member, much to the embarrassment of their parent or owner. I don't know what is wrong with him, they say. He's not normally like this. And I think back only to the other day when my dog Millie when we were out on a walk, was absolutely lovely to a puppy. But when we came past a long-haired Alsatian, who we see every morning, every morning without fail, she barks at that dog and the poor dog looks mystified as to why she's taken against him. We have done nothing to deserve such a hostile attitude and sometimes our best intentions are not appreciated. Our visit is not welcome. Our telephone call is not well timed. Our gift is not appropriate or our friendship is not returned. We have no idea why. All we wanted to do was to be friendly, helpful or generous. It is distressing and hurtful. When God came to his children with arms open wide in love and acceptance, his children did not at all return that love. They rejected him, God's own beloved children who he created and loved with an everlasting love, rejected him. They arrested him, mocked him and turned him over to his enemies to be judged and executed. This is history. But the words of John's Gospel are true at another level too. We are all God's children, created by God. We too are responsible for turning our backs on God and his ways. We prefer the darkness to the light. We find it easier to hate than to love. And we find it easier to please ourselves than to walk in God's way. God's response to our rejection is not to be hurt or to withdraw. His response is to deal with us patiently and gently, to be faithful and compassionate 
so that we have time to come to our senses. God is not willing that any one of us should be lost. He wants to lavish love upon us all, even if our first reaction is one of fear, mistrust and rejection. In his great patience, God waits for us to be ready to respond to his grace and truth. So something now to ponder. Think about a situation in your life when you have faced rejection or resistance despite your good intentions. Is it easy to go on showing love and forgiveness in that situation. Now let's pray in the words of St Francis of Assisi. Where there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is despair, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, let me bring light. And where there is sadness, let me bring joy. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Have a good day. Goodbye.